Hey, so I've actually had quite a few people over the last couple of weeks um, email about just general anxiety and obsessive thinking when you have um, an eating disorder or anorexia in particular. That's what I get asked about a lot, but I do think it's true for any sort of eating disorder. And people just noticing that general anxiety can be a lot worse when you have an eating disorder. And I, I think this is definitely true, certainly noticed myself. I had a really strong OCD component, so I was like I was like OCD about everything. Of course there was the eating OCD and the exercise OCD, but I was, I was, like, I was just OCD about everything that I did really. Anything that could become a habit or a pattern would become a habit or a pattern with me. Um, and that is only true for me when I have anorexia. I was never like that before I had anorexia. I'm not like that now, relatively disorganized daily schedule um it's like i was even ocd about not just the type of food that i buy but the where i'd shop and when i'd shop and how i'd shop even walking through the same aisles of the store in the same routine like and it wouldn't even occur to me but it'd be like that it's like my brain just doesn't operate that way anymore which is bizarre because it operated that way about everything that it could possibly do when i had an eating disorder and i think that when your brain thinks that there's not enough food in the environment when you're in energy deficit things just start to happen differently your brain has to become kind of really like oh if something worked yesterday if I did something yesterday and obviously I survived yesterday so your brain wants to do the same thing about everything whether it's food or exercise related or whatever because your brain thinks that it's in this environment that's hostile and so becoming like you know a scared hostile environment brain becomes very kind of just like doing the same things want to repeat the same things each day because that's what it thinks or it associates with being safe or at least that's the way I see it because as soon as I or when I started to come out of energy deficit for me a lot of those behaviors deteriorated they didn't go away completely because I had those neural pathways set up which is why I'm so on the neural rewiring bit as well because nutritional rehabilitation will get you out of energy deficit so that's like the driving force behind the OCD behavior goes away but because the neural pathways are set up it's like the OCD behavior those neural pathways are still there so you do have to do work even when the driving force behind the OCD and the repetitive behavior and the food stuff and the exercise stuff when that driving force has gone away you still have to deal with the the neural network and change that neural network but it's so much easier when that driving force is not there when you've got nutritionally rehabilitated or when you're in the process of nutritionally rehabilitating um, and so I guess what I'm trying to say is that the OCD is certainly things that needs to be rewired despite the fact that it should and probably will get less intense as you nutritionally rehabilitate the anxiety usually gets more intense as you need nutritionally rehabilitate because you're challenging so much more your brain is anxious when you don't do your OCD stuff so because you're challenging that it's going to get more anxious and for many people that anxiety can be completely through the roof now after a while when your brain and body fully nutritionally rehabilitate and you're getting over you're rewiring those neural pathways and your brain gets less anxious about doing things differently but not completely on its own is that going to happen you have to rewire some of that anxiety by kind of like forcing yourself to show your brain that changing things and doing things differently is nothing to be anxious about and that's the rewiring process um so i guess the answer to the general question that i have here which is um is obsessive thinking and intense anxiety a common component of anorexia resulting from malnutrition if so does the obsessive fixated thinking and anxiety get better with rate restoration recovery the answer there is yes it's the malnutrition that is the driving force behind the obsessiveness the anxiety and all of those things but when you've been doing behaviors repetitively for years for some of us that builds a neural network. So nutritional rehabilitation alone is not going to get rid of that neural network. It will get rid of the driving force behind it. It's the neural rewiring that will get rid of that neural network. And that's why I wrote a book called, you know, um, Rehabilitate. I forgot what the book was called then. <laughs> Rehabilitate, Rewire, Recover. Because you have to do the nutritional rehabilitation and the neural rewiring to make a full recovery if you've had an anorexia for a long period of time, if you've had anorexia for long enough for neural pathways to become established. So hope that makes sense. The overall answer is for anyone who's wondering, yes, 
you can fully recover if you do full nutritional rehabilitation and neural rewiring.